This is David from your PST Studios, and today I'm going to show you how to create a database connection tool. Looks just like this. Alright, so I'm going to give you a quick example of how it works. So you enter in your database address, enter in your database name, enter in your username, enter in your password. Let's click login. I have it in debug mode right now, so it will pop up and show values entered. I hid the password part for security reasons, but you click OK, shows it's connecting. Click OK, now you got a message saying that it's connected. You know that your database is connecting properly. Alright, and just to show it is actually working properly. there's my error message showing that it is not working properly but yeah so that is the program here's the code behind it let's start a new program so I can show you how to do this from scratch so what you will do is create a WPF program WPF app from the .NET framework we'll go ahead and start that um, let's call that MySQL connection test and we'll go ahead and get that started. I like to keep my screen pretty small since it doesn't really require that much for this application. So we will go ahead and throw out three text boxes one password box let's go ahead and expand that to the size we need it to go ahead and drag everything into place and we will be using four text blocks I hate when it does that And lastly, a button. So let's get everything in its proper place. Let's go ahead and throw one text block per line. I like to keep them all fairly stacked together. Let's expand our password box to 23 just to have it match the size of the others. <coughs> okay. So we'll go, go ahead and rename everything to what we want it to be. So this will be our server. And this will be our database. Will be our username. That will be our password. All right. So let's clear default values out of all the boxes, and give our boxes a name. So this will be server box, database box. Username box Password box And we'll go ahead and change our button to login And we'll name that login button <coughs> Alright, so that's all we really need for our visual side of things what we're going to go ahead and do now is add what we need to get this started. So we're going to throw in the SQL client. 
So mysql.data from your NuGet. We'll go ahead and click install on that. <coughs> Give it its time to do its install. All right, click accept on that. It's gonna fill up your references for you. Okay, so now that we have that, we'll go ahead and create a click ins or a click event for our login button. So we have our click event for our login button. What we're gonna do is create a private void and call that MySQL connection. Okay, so we have our MySQL connection. With that, we are going to create our connection string. And with that, we will put our server equals server. user equals user name um let's go ahead and create these real quick just so it doesn't keep popping up like that we're going to create string username string password string database and string server all right so now it should play nice with us all right so username we have database equals database and we have password equals password all right we'll go ahead and end that now we're going to be using mysql or sorry mysql.data And using mysql.data.mysql client. Uh, sorry, I have a extension that fixes my code. And if it doesn't see it in there, it removes it from there to keep it clean. So you will see me having to fix that. But we will do mysql connection con equals new. Sorry, my SQL connection con star. And we will go ahead and save that. Oh, I'm not going to save it because it's going to mess with my stuff up there. And then we will do con.open. And we are also going to throw in a message box. Show. All right. So we have this here now. We can technically go over to here. And we are going to do a try. Let's throw our catch below there. And we're going to do catch with exception x. Message box. Show our exception. Go 
ahead and throw in our using dot system so our exception shows so using dot system at the top all right now what i like to do is throw in checks to make sure that all of our text boxes have actual content in them so we'll do a if server box dot text equals not empty and and password box dot password since it is a password box equals not empty and database box dot text equals not empty and username dot box or dot text equals not empty and then we'll go ahead and run our code so what we are going to do is take server and that equals server.box.text and we're going to do database and that equals database box.text and we're going to do username equals username box.text and then we're going to do password password box dot password and then we are going to use the mysql connection to fire that all and what i like to do is change the login button content to be close that way you can close your connection back out and I'm gonna expand this a little more so I can get more content in there and do close connection all right So what we made it do is when you click on the login button, it is going to check to make sure that all of the fields, all of these have something inside of it. It doesn't have it to have anything valid. It just has to have something inside. You can change your code up to work on validating the stuff in there to make sure it's correct. But for this case, we're just going to do the basics. So we verified that all of them have something inside of it once we verified all of it is inside of it we go ahead and send all of it to our strings so that it can be used in the code so that way we don't hard code all of our information into it and one last thing i like to do after it comes back and I'll, like once you get down to this point you already know your connection is open i like to come in and change all of that to be empty that way we don't have any any of our information saved in the code so it can't be accessed later i know it's probably a bit much but we're going to go ahead and do that all right so let's go ahead and give that a test so we're going to try to access our same server that we accessed earlier. PST test service. All right. And as you can see, our connection went through. I did not put anything to show it came through, but to make that work the way you would want it to, we can go ahead and do a actually not this section we're going to go up here into this section do right after the con open dot show and then we'll do what server Actually, I like to do these the long way.
just to be able to close it out, I will go ahead and do this. If not if string if login button dot content equals equal equal. And then to read that, we're going to do two string just so we can keep the compiler happy. Oh, I forgot I got to do that in the other part. database connection tool so we'll go ahead and test that one more time all right so connected to 192.168.0.215 dash pst underscore test as user service and then our connection part will change to close connection and we will save how to do that properly for the next video <laughs> thank you for watching if you like please like subscribe and check back later for more content just like this all right thank you for your time happy coding journey